If you are a homeowner, you want to be acquainted with Helitech waterproofing and foundation repair. And here now is Burke Watts. Burke, let's start with this. Remind sure. people, what exactly is a crawl space? So crawl space, so in most homes, you, you have one of three things. You either have a basement or a crawl space, which is a smaller space underneath sure. the house, or you have a concrete slab. Here in the Ozarks area, we have a tremendous amount of crawl spaces. Mm -hmm. And so if you've never went down into a basement, <laughs> most likely you live on a crawl space. Mm -hmm. And most people don't want to get into them because it's a really tight space. Most yeah. of the time, they're 24 to 40 inches. Not exactly a place you want to hang out. <laughs> exactly. Now, what are common issues that people should be aware of when it comes to crawl spaces? Yeah, I think the, the number one thing that, that people run into and see underneath the crawl space or that they don't see because they're not getting in there is moisture issues, right? So do you have standing water? Is it just high humidity in there? All the way up to do I have some wood rot damage or mold mm -hmm. because of that water issue? Yeah, now speaking of that, is it important for people to have, it, to have a dehumidifier in their crawl space or basement? Yeah, in 95% in of homes, yes, you're going to need a dehumidifier in w either one of those two situations. And the reason that is, in a crawl space, one, you should have a good vapor barrier down there, but also that air that's underneath that home is coming up through. And so if you're just letting this warm air come from the outside through vents in underneath there, then you're actually creating this really weird, you know, sense of weather underneath your home. And that's where a dehumidifier comes in. Same thing in a basement. That basement, not enough airflow in there a lot of times. And so it gets to be a damp, you know, very humid air. And so a dehumidifier is a great thing to have. And that's a service that Helitech provides. Love it. All right. Now on the note of basements, is it okay. important to have an egress window oh. within your basement? You know, that that's an excellent question that's really kind of came up over the last 15 to 20 years. Yeah. And so nowadays, if you want to count part of your basement as living space, you have to have an egress. And an egress window is a larger window. It can't be any more than about 40 inches off of the floor mm -hmm. so that if there were a fire or some type of an issue, you could escape and go out that window to be able to get to safety. And so don't spend a bunch of money finishing a basement <laughs> if you don't have an egress because when you go to sell the home, mm -hmm. it will not count as living space. And so it's a great thing to have, one, for the safety and protection of your family that mm -hmm. may be living in the basement, but also from a resale value, great process to have. Some great videos and content on our website where you can go take a look and understand a little bit more about an egress and why you may want one. Okay, cool. Now, if people want to go check out those videos, sure. how do they get a hold of you or find more information online? Sure. Great way is the QR code here on the screen. You can scan that. That'll take you to helitechonline.com. And from there, you can go through everything we've talked about. Or you can set up a, a free consultation to have one of our home health care specialists come out, take a look around for you, and really tell you what we see and what we feel like you need. All right, perfect. Burke, thank you as always. Oh, always appreciate you. it. Heal you have to go and check them out.